Hello everybody, welcome to Review A Day, episode number 95, for Thursday, November the 27th, 2008. Hello everybody, welcome to Review A Day, the daily video blog where I review a movie seven days a week. My name is Leland Brunner, and thank you very much for joining me. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope your holidays are going well. My favorite dish is the stuffing, in case anyone was wondering, which I'm sure none of you were. Um, I've been watching Metal... I finished Metalocalypse Season 1. It's a very funny show. It's very much an Adult Swim-style show, so if you like Adult Swim, check it out. Compared to Venture Brothers, doesn't come close. Venture Brothers is the best thing I've ever seen on Adult Swim. Um, it, it, I, I, I hold Venture Brothers in the same way I hold South Park or The Simpsons. Just really great stuff. Metalocalypse, very Adult Swim, but Venture Brothers is where it's at. Freaking love it. Um, but the film I'm going to review for you guys today is the new film Four Christmases. Uh, this movie is directed by Seth Gordon, who actually um, directed The King of Kong, which is a documentary I reviewed a while back, uh, went back but I, I loved it, and I'm, I was really surprised to see that he was the director of this film. Steve Wiebe, um, the true King of Kong, if you've seen the documentary, um, has a very small role in this film. He plays Kristen Chenoweth's husband. And when you first see him, he's actually playing video games on the couch. Very funny. Nice little nod to uh, Steve Weeby. Love that. Um, but this film stars Vince Vaughn, Reese Witherspoon, uh, Robert Duvall, Sissy Spacek, John Voight, John Favreau is in this movie, Mary Steenburgen, Kristen Chenoweth, uh, Tim McGraw. It's got a great cast. Um, Four Christmases is about uh, Reese Witherspoon and Vince Vaughn are these, is this married couple who... Um, they've decided they're never going to have kids, they're not married, they don't want to rush into marriage, and every Christmas they lie to their families and they go to uh, some foreign place. They go to, you know, Fiji. This film, this this year they're going to Fiji. Every flight is canceled because of fog. I didn't know that that's one of the things that could really cancel every single flight. But they're delayed because of fog, uh, canceled because of fog, and they have to go to all their parents' houses. They've every, Both of their parents have been divorced, so four Christmases... And going through these kind of crazy adventures, they learn a bit, a little bit about the, about themselves and each other. Um, Four Christmas is act, is actually surprisingly pretty vulgar and crass. Um, Reese Witherspoon beats up a um, bounce house full of kids, which I thought was pretty dark. Um, it, and one thing I actually found really surprising, this is kind of a mild spoiler, but they really don't learn anything in this film. They don't learn anything about families or about the Christmas spirit. They, they, they really don't. Um, they learn stuff about each other, but they really ignored the, um, the Christmas spirit and about families and coming together, which I thought was very interesting, kind of a cool, different idea, but this film is so freaking standard and by the numbers, it is just, it's pretty painful sometimes. It is a pretty funny movie. I did find myself laughing. Um, I think this is a good Vince Vaughn performance. I hated Fred Claus. I hated him in that film. He's very funny in this. Lots of fast-talking Vince Vaughn style. Reese Witherspoon was good. I didn't think she was necessarily... She didn't blow me away with her comedic timing or anything like that. Um, John Favreau is very funny in this film. I like seeing him again. Um, there's a couple people from... Slack, uh, from Not Slackers. Swingers. Uh, they uh, John Favreau and another guy from Swingers make a cameo. Nice to see them together again. Um... But uh, it, it is very funny, and I think that was—I think that's definitely one of the strongest points about it. But it's not so funny where I would say, you know, run out and see this movie. I, I, as I was watching, I was like, you know, if this movie was on HBO next holiday season, I would definitely sit down and watch it. If it was on demand, I would definitely watch it. It's not a terrible movie, but it's not very good. Um, as we were leaving the theater, everyone's like, you know, it wasn't that bad, and I was like, well, that's not it doesn't make a good movie. Um, we, I, I think we've seen so many just really shitty holiday films, Deck the Halls, Christmas with the Cranks. I've seen them all. They're really awful. I think Elf is one of the best Christmas movies made in years. Um, I think everyone's been trying to make the next great Christmas film, and they always kind of fall short. This one falls less short than those other films, but it's not necessarily great. It's just, it reminds me of watching the CBS show Worst Week, where it's just like people basically building houses of cards and then standing around and waiting for someone to just come by and knock them down um you can you can easily see them setting up jokes um you know throwaway lines that are are too specific to be throwaway lines that are really important um it's not a great movie it's not terrible i give this one a two and a half out of five um 
It's nowhere near as good as the King of Kong, but if you're a King of Kong fan, King of Kong fan the Steve Weeby uh, cameo is nice, but two out of five. Uh, I wouldn't... If it's on HBO, give it a... God, check it out. I liked it. Um, if you guys are liking my reviews, make sure and subscribe or give me some star ratings. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to see me review any films, leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow.